Back to you guys. Okay, Arthur, fans continue to remember Ledger by leaving flowers and candles outside his apartment. Neighbors say the scene is now unlike how Ledger lived with so many photographers and police around. He was a very quiet man, and people in the neighborhood respected that privacy. But there are many questions about how Ledger spent his final days. Some say lately he was very depressed. Right now, Chris Glorioso is live outside Ledger's home with a look at what the actor was dealing with in his life, his career as well, when he died. Chris. Well, as people come and continue to visit the flower memorial growing outside Heath Ledger's apartment, they are perplexed. On the one hand, there are accounts that his last days were dark and depressed. But on the others, uh, some say that he was actually behaving like a Manhattan playboy. One thing is clear. When he moved across the East River, his home life changed dramatically. Don't try to fool me no more, Ennis. I know what it means. Since breaking up with Brokeback Mountain co-star Michelle Williams, Heath Ledger was very much leading the Manhattan bachelor's life. Gossip writers have linked the blonde-haired heartthrob to a slew of the most glamorous women in show business most recently model Gemma Ward, but the list also includes model Helena Christensen, actresses Heather Graham, Kate Hudson, and even Mary Kate Olsen. In Touch Magazine's Noah Levy followed Ledger's love life before he suddenly died. He's an actor. He was 28. He's a young guy in Hollywood. I think he really did what any young actor would do is, you know, he would, you know, court any beautiful woman that he really wanted to, and he's definitely successful at that. I don't really think that's a fault. That's just definitely, you know, a stereotype of being a young guy in Hollywood. The Aussie actor had only been renting the Soho loft for about five months, but gossip writers say he already had several favorite night spots to meet Hollywood's A-list. The Bowery Hotel was one. Fans at Gonzales E. Gonzales on Broadway spotted him at a party on Thanksgiving Eve, though he quickly shuffled out. I mean, it was sad to hear because, yeah, he was just in here two months ago. It's a little surreal. But, I mean, he was in here for probably half an hour. He stopped in for the party and seemed like a regular, but he seemed okay. I mean, little, you know, unkempt. Indeed, most onlookers agree Ledger's appearance had been deteriorating of late. He told the New York Times he had trouble sleeping when portraying Bob Dylan in the biopic I'm Not There. You know, there's been a lot of stories coming out now and even, you know, in the past couple of months of Heath Ledger, just, you know, his character changing. There's this guy who's always so friendly, you know, not being very social, um, going to film after parties and award show after parties and kind of, you know, hiding in the corner, chain smoking, looking a little creepy, a little dirty. When Heath Ledger had died, he had just gotten back from a filming session in London. Gossip writers seem to universally agree that his greatest love was his two-year-old daughter, Matilda. They could often be seen together here in Soho. And one interesting point, in that Times article, Ledger reportedly told the reporter he was very uncomfortable dissecting his private life in public. Now in death, the entire world is doing just that. Reporting live in Soho, Chris Gloriosa for the CW 11 News at 10. Peter, back to you. Chris,